Hey guys, it's just Demo here. I'm proud to announce I finally broke down and bought a belt sander, which is awesome because I need to finish this project. This has been an ongoing project and you guys haven't seen it yet, but I have probably 20, 30 minutes of recording done on this knife so far that I'm making. And I cannot finish it because I did not have one of these. It was going to take far too long and too much time to try to finish. So I'm hoping this will be the answer to my problem. Um, I'm going to do a quick unboxing. Uh, I've never used one of these. I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. It had good reviews, but it was only right around 100 bucks. I'll definitely put it, the link in the description down below um, in case you guys are interested. But this is going to be kind of an unboxing and a review because I am going to basically have an inception thing going on here and have part of this video be of the knife and vice versa. So it will be two different videos, but you'll probably see some of the same clips within the other two. So without further ado, I'll get to unboxing. Okay guys, so as you can probably tell, um, this video is going to be kind of different. I, I do do a lot of fast forwards and stuff, maybe with some like music over it or something, but I'm going to try to do a voice over here. I think that'll add some quality to the video so you guys kind of know what's going on. So um, in this video, obviously it's an unboxing and a review, but it's more than that. I'm, I'm putting it together on camera which I think a lot of people overlook and don't do. They just kind of go off camera. Um, tell me what you guys think, but I think it's important so you guys can see in real time, obviously fast forwarded, but in real time kind of how long it took for me and the little things I had to do to kind of figure it out and put it together. Um, you guys can maybe put it together faster than I did, but this is how long it took. Um, so in the middle of this fast forward, you're probably gonna see where I put on these little rubber uh, boots. I thought that was important because those really do help on the vibration quite a bit, especially when you're on a metal table like I am. Then we're obviously gonna get back to me putting it together. Um, I tried to zoom in so you guys could see a little better what I was doing and how I was doing it. Just takes a couple screws and a little bit of smarts and following the directions. Even though the directions aren't that great, the rest of it and the machine are pretty awesome um, that's all I kind of wanted to say there'll be another part where I'm talking but it's just a short little video just to show you guys uh, what I thought of this piece of equipment and how long it took to get put together and all that good stuff Okay, so I was a little bit confused on this part. That's why the video stopped. But this just slides on there. I knew that. That was pretty easy. Um, but the next part that confused me is how this actually mounts to the machine. And I was wondering why there's a leftover screw. Well, it's not leftover. It actually goes down here. And the directions don't really do a good job of saying that. But basically, you can just pop it off like this. And that way you can actually put it up here as well or the other way I think but either way um, you can use it for the that grinder as well so this part right here I just wanted to show you guys uh, it does a really good job on both wood and metal on some of the close-ups and <laughs> at the beginning I just wanted to do kind of a cinematic turning it on uh, for the first time so you guys can kind of see it running uh, and that's the best it's ever going to look let's be honest because I'm a dude and I suck at cleaning my, my stuff up 
but yeah as you can see it runs uh, wood and metal really well it sharpened that knife really nice as you'll see in my knife video um, but it's an awesome piece of equipment and you'll see at the end of the video here in a second my review of it So guys, that's going to wrap up this video, and I have to say, I am super impressed with this sand grinder, or belt grinder and disc uh, sander. Um, it does metal just fine. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know some updates in the future as I use it. But man, this thing's wicked. I've never had one, so I'm not real sure um, if I'm missing out on something, but... The only thing that they did miss in the shipping was there's actually a little screw right that goes in that triangle right there. That way when you slide on this, it'll stop right there and you can adjust it or, you know, as needed. So I will have to go to the hardware store and get that. But for a hundred bucks, I could not pass this thing up. Um, I would basically give this thing a 10 out of 10 so far. I mean, I really like it. I, I definitely see me using it a lot in the future. So if you're looking into buying one, I recommend this one. Please make sure to like and subscribe and share this with all your friends that might be interested. Thanks.